Hi, welcome to the GTAC demo. This is really a product born out of frustration. On the one hand, we've got sophisticated guitar to MIDI converters like the Axon I have here. On the other hand, we've got powerful software instruments like Contact, which I have here, which has a thousand built-in instruments of all different sorts. But unfortunately, it's really hard to get them to talk to each other. Let's take a quick look. Slowed up an instrument, play a chord, and only one string sounds. The reason for that is because it's receiving on MIDI channel 1 only. I could change that to receive on all MIDI channels, but unfortunately contact doesn't understand the different pitch bend information that the guitar to MIDI converter sends on each string. So if I did that, it would just sound like a, a mess. So the way around that is to load up six copies of the instrument. You can load up six copies like that. I've actually done this already so you don't have to wait for me to to do all that. Let's just find that. Load up six. Yes. And here we have six copies of the instrument, one for each string. And I've also had to change the pitch bend so that it matches my guitar to MIDI converter. Now I can play a chord and it works. And I can do slides and bends and things. But this is a very cumbersome arrangement. If I want a different sound, I have to change every one of the six instruments. I'm not going to do it now, but I would have to. And I've got to go through and I've got to change all the pitch bend for each instrument to be right. And it's just very inconvenient and it stops you really using contact to its full. So let's take a look at this with GTAC. First thing we need to do is to select the GTAC Multi and then we load the instrument, the GTAC version of that same instrument and a saxophone, and let's change it to receive on Omni, and now I can play chords and it works. I can play slides, bends work, everything just works. And now if I want to change the instrument it's as easy as clicking on there. A new instrument just loaded up and I can just play. So let's take a little look at GTAC here. It's some software that runs inside each contact instrument. The technical term is a KSP script. And it gives you this little control panel here. You can select which strings the instrument responds to. You can set up a fret filter to, to set which frets it responds to. On the Axon you can use the pick filter. There's a whole section for controlling the instrument with a pedal, which I'll go into later. And there's the pitch bend quantization, which is handled here so that each instrument can have the correct settings. So, now it's so easy just to load an instrument and play it, you can really start using the power of contact. Let's just switch this to a different the alto saxophone. And now let's load up a new instrument say a bass guitar, upright bass, turn it off on the top strings, turn this one off on the bottom strings, and set it to MIDI Omni. In fact while I'm here I'm going to make that the default because otherwise I'll keep forgetting to do it. So now all of them will come up with set to MIDI Omni. Oh, that's a bit low for me. There's actually a config panel where there's a transpose setting. So let's take this up an octave. Contact also provides a wide variety of drum kits. Let's load up the jazz kit. With these you can play the individual kit instruments on the first five strings. 
but the sixth string is mapped onto the built-in drum machine. So if you play a note there, there's 12 patterns mapped onto the and the open string stops it. So with this setup here, we can turn the bass off there, turn these off there, just unmute all these, both of these, and then we've got the saxophone still on the top strings, the bass there, and of course we can play the pattern, patterns like that. Pedals, another great feature. Let's load up something more electronic. Lead synth. Let's try that out. More fun than musical, maybe. And now we can add up a backing type instrument. Say a pad, very voice. Now, if I play, they both play together. But let's set this so that it's controlled by the pedal. Pedal holds. And let's set this one so it's muted when any of those are pressed. So now, just the lead one plays. If I press the pedal, just the pad plays. And when I release the pedal, the pad holds, and I can play over the top, press the pedal again to stop the pad playing. Then we can add some beats from the Urban Beats collection, check Urban Beats performances, I don't know what they are, but anyone will do. And these are interesting because as well as the drum machine, which in here is called a groove box, there's also a master effects section, which you can control with the fifth string. So let's turn it off on the bottom four strings. Let's turn the pad off on here. Set this to be controlled by the same pedal. And we'll just alter that a bit. So now this should be able to play when I place a note on the bottom string. And then playing notes on the fifth string alters this master effects section. And I can radically change the sound just by playing those notes to change the preset. And of course I've still got the pad happening on the top strings. And I can release the pedal and things go on and I can keep playing on top. Hours of fun. And if that's not really your cup of tea, let's take a look at the orchestral instruments. Let's get a one of the key switched ones. A violin maybe. This has key switching on the on the low notes and these are mapped onto the low E string in GTAC. And this lets you play different articulations. By default it's sustained. But there's also a staccato thing going on there. A different sort of sustain. Tremolo and somewhere pizzicato and all of those are available to you just by playing notes on the low, low string to switch between them and of course if you only want one of them you can save some memory by loading up the the individual version that only has one articulation then there are the legato instruments which I really like Let's load one of those, maybe the 
French horn. These instruments are special because it, for each note there are an extra 24 samples of the instrument being played legato, starting from a note from one octave below to one octave above. And with this special GTAC legato script, the relevant samples are triggered when you play hammer-ons or pull-offs or slides. Let's have a little listen. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this little overview. There's lots more details on evenharmonic.com and hopefully there'll be some more videos coming along soon as well. Bye for now.